Hey, how's it going everyone? Cub here. And today I have a unique invention to show you and also a proof of concept about detecting thunderstorms in non-weather biomes. So, first of all, let's go ahead and take a look at how exactly this works and I'll show you a proof of concept on how to improve upon it. Uh, so hopefully some of you guys out there, some of you redstone masters can improve this. So here it is. This is the thunderstorm detector. And this lamp will turn on whenever there's a thunderstorm outside. So let me just go ahead and set it to rainy weather. And since this is just rain here, this will not detect the thunderstorm. So yeah, you can see it's raining out. And yeah, doesn't detect it. If we change it to a thunderstorm though, you'll see that this will turn on. So there we go. Thunderstorm has been detected and you can see the sky is dark enough and yeah lightning's hitting and yeah it's thunderstorming out so let's change this back to clear weather and the lamp will go off so uh, how this works um, this is actually the first thunderstorm detector that works in non weather biomes to my knowledge and it uses only two daylight sensors one regular one inverted and it uses a little bit of redstone logic here and signal strength uh, power to detect the thunderstorm so you can see all the redstone right in here kind of a unique design the only caveat about this is that it only works between these times so between 2875 ticks and 9123 ticks so it works for about five and a half minutes every day uh, and only during the day so that's the thunderstorm detector there's also a rain detector I'll show you here real quick it works between these times here and I'll show you the logic behind it. It's pretty small, um, really small actually for a rain detector. And yeah, it uses two uh, daylight sensors as well. And let me just show you here. So this will detect rain or thunderstorms. So it'll turn on there. There you go. And we'll change it back to clear weather. So those are two pretty unique designs for a thunderstorm and a rain detector. But I would like, uh, in particular, this thunderstorm detector to work for a greater range of times. Um, the reason is that would be really useful for people in desert, savanna, or mesa biomes to know when it's thunderstorming out. That way they can go and search for charged creepers in other biomes. Um, I know you can look at the sky to determine if it's, uh, if it's raining out, but to determine if it's thunderstorming, uh, compared to when it's raining in those non-weather biomes is actually quite difficult and it's impossible if you're underground like if you have your base underground in those biomes so uh, I'll show you a proof of concept now on how it's possible to differentiate between rain and thunderstorms um, in non-weather biomes and this also applies to uh, people who live in in uh, biomes where it rains because Traditional thunderstorm detectors um, only use light level of less than 10. This can go uh, and detect thunderstorms beyond that light level. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get, get on with this. So this here is a signal strength based RS NOR latch. Um, some of you might know what that means. Some of you might not. This is a design uh, that's based on a counter by a guy called Deco the Redstoner. I'll provide a link to his channel in the description. So how this works is whenever these daylight sensors detect a change in light level, um, they will change the output of this redstone dust here, which then changes the output of this dust here. So let me show you what I mean. So uh, the time right now is at 6,000, so it's high noon. And if we go ahead and change it to rainy weather, You'll see here, ta-da, there we go. So this changed to power level two here, as you can see, and two of these lamps lit up. So right here we have um, where the rain uh, signal strength is. So when it rains, it'll go to this, this signal strength. Now if we change it to a thunderstorm, so let's change it to thunder, you'll see that the signal strength actually changes. So this is a way to differentiate between rain and thunderstorms. And again, this is a, a biome where it does rain. Um, let me change it to clear weather, actually. 
This is a biome where it does rain, but this will work in any biome. Because the light level changes as well in any biome. So, there's that. And now I'll show you, uh, if we change the time. So, time set 12,000. So, this is a time um, where traditional thunderstorm detectors would fail. So, at this time, you couldn't typically detect a thunderstorm um, with a traditional detector. But with this one, you can. So if we change it to rainy weather, weather rain, I'll just show you here. So the signal strength when it's raining comes out to this point here. And then if we do a thunderstorm, so slash weather thunder, you'll see that the signal strength now comes out to this block here. So even when the sun is is that low in the sky and it can even go lower uh, and you can still differentiate between the two I just sort of ran out of room here um, but yeah you can uh, detect the difference between yeah a thunderstorm and a uh, let's yeah clear it you can so you can detect the difference between rain and thunderstorm so that's useful to know um, so my idea is that you can take this concept here and combine it with this uh, this right here which is a uh, memory cell for signal strength and you can make a thunderstorm detector that will work all day so I'll show you what this does so if we turn this lever on here and we come over here you'll see this level of this redstone dust is power level 3 and then if you turn this off you'll see the signal strength is now into this redstone dust and over here this is actually saved in this memory cell here so we can now turn this off and let me just get F3 off there and yeah you can see now signal is off back here but right here still has signal strength 3 here and signal strength 3 here so I think we can combine this uh, memory cell here with this uh, signal strength NOR latch and yeah uh, make a thunderstorm detector that will work all day in non-weather biomes and also be better than the traditional thunderstorm detectors um, that use rain. So the last part of this video will be about how you can potentially take uh, the signal strength memory cell and the RS NOR latch over there and combine them to make uh, even better thunderstorm and rain detectors that'll work in any biome. Uh, it's my hope that some of you guys will take this and run with it and make uh, yeah even better designs than I got so yeah let's go ahead and take a look at these so first of all we have a piston clock here uh, that goes into uh, this block here which then constantly writes and clears the state of this redstone dust so what power level it is and then we compare that to what a current daylight detector has and then that goes into a RS NOR latch over here and this will turn on this lamp whenever it starts to rain here. Um, the problem with this design is that it only works about half the time because of this clock. Um, it's possible you could have one of these and then another one over here with this clock just reversed and that should in theory work all the time. But let me just show you here so if we change this to rainy weather uh, what should happen is this lamp should turn on so we do this wait for the right time right here so you'll see here there we go that lamp turned on after it started to rain uh, and it'll stay on indefinitely until you you know reset it like that so that's one proof of concept you guys can take a look here this is the design here take your screenshots or whatever build this for yourself if you want to all right. So the final design I'm going to show you today is a idea that can definitely be approved upon for a thunderstorm detector. Um, so this lamp will basically turn on any time that a uh, thunderstorm happens, but rain happens beforehand. So let me show you how it works. So if we do weather rain, you'll see this dust will turn on. This is at power level two. Then we have a memory cell over here that also saves that signal strength at power level 2 
and then compares the power level 2 to the power level 2 from this and does not produce an output but now if it changes from raining to thunderstorm so weather thunder there we go the lamp turns on because this power level of this dust is now at four so we're comparing a signal strength of four from the back to two from the side because you remember this saved the state here at two and that turns on this uh... this lamp here and so we go weather clear so this can i think somehow be changed to perhaps uh... compare to a third uh, maybe like a timer or something on this side so that it would always detect um, thunderstorms properly and of course you can reset it just by hitting that button and then you can clear the memory state of this cell by just hitting this reset button here um, so I'm hoping that some of you will yeah take these designs and make um, even better thunderstorm and rain detectors that can work in non-weather biomes I thought it was just kind of a cool project to do, just to see if I could do it. And yeah, I think it's definitely possible. I just got to keep working on it. You see I'm working on some other stuff over here. It's not quite complete yet, but yeah, hopefully this inspires some of you to see what you can come up with. It's a good challenge. I highly recommend it. And yeah, that's going to be all for me today, guys. So thanks for watching. This has been Cup Fan. Goodbye.